It is definitely noticeable. It is definitely noticeable. It's literally all that I noticed. It's about to get delicious in here. Delicious? Yeah, because we just ate our Texas Roadhouse. Couldn't be much more delicious than that. And now we're about to have Oh Hello Bakery. Oh Hello. Hey, what's up family? I'm Rachel. And I'm Joe. And we are Two, Two Crazy, Crazy Ketos. Ketos. And if you're new to our channel, welcome. Here on Two Crazy Ketos, we do different things like recipe videos, we do product reviews, we talk about various keto topics, and then every Monday, we sit down on the couch for Keto on the Couch. We just kind of talk about what's going on in our lives for the week. You can find us in different social media platforms like Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And we have a website, which is twocrazyketos.com. And that's where you're going to find all of our different recipes. Now we do upload at least five new videos every single week, so make sure you subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to hit the little bell icon and that way every single time we upload a new video, you'll be alerted to it. So we just got home from the most delicious dinner. I didn't think it could get any better, but now we have dessert. Texas Roadhouse and the waitress is like, oh, by the way, if you're interested, like we can do a 20 ounce prime rib. Yes, please. And we're like, oh yes, please. So. Like, I'm glad we did that, but now it's time for some dessert. Oh, hello. Oh, hello. Dessert. So this actually came from Oh Hello Bakery, and actually Miriam from Keto Chow had them send it to us. Thank you, Oh they Hello. They are based out there in Utah, and they do do shipping. They so do do I'm it. I'm excited about this. Thank you to Miriam from Keto Chow for I have heard so much about their dessert. Us. Oh my gosh. Ooh. So we have a box of goodies. Delights. Look at this. So, okay. So, oof. caramel cashew, uh, cashew caramel bar. Cashew caramel. Pumpkin chocolate chip bar. What? A pumpkin sandwich cookie. Oh my gracious. Pumpkin snickerdoodle. Literally anything you could want. There's maple pecan cookie. Granola. French toast cookie. Pecan bar. <gasps> pecan bar. You said you got granola and then there's another pumpkin snickerdoodle. Wow, what a variety. This is awesome. I don't know what we're gonna try because we certainly can't try Man. it all. Now, it did come, by the way, shipped in this little box. How sweet. And some air things and an ice which is still cold, it's like that a is, Nordic ice. That is impressive. This thing is awesome. Everything is freezing cold. It's a Nordic ice, so I'm super excited about this. There, there is a little nutrition card in here, so we can do our five things review. These are adorable, like whoopee cookies. Okay, what are we gonna try? Because we can't eat all of this. I definitely want to try one of the bars, either the pecan or the cashew. Caramel. I say we go. Cashew, cashew caramel, that would be my choice. So we're gonna try the cashew. We could probably take I a can, little bit of the granola. The granola. Well, I I'm say, gonna take a little bite. I say the pumpkin snickerdoodle. No, I've never been excited about snickerdoodle. That's, okay. Pumpkin I eat usually. Yeah, but we gotta do pumpkin. Maple pecan. Maple pecan cookie. And we'll do the pumpkin sandwich cookie. There you go. Oh, and a French toast cookie. Oh, I don't know. Oh my gosh, there's so much start. good stuff. Let's start off with granola. Okay. Just a little taste. Little taste of granola, in case you want to go that route, because I'm sure they sell it in like a decent sized bag, and you're looking for snacks for the holidays, right? Oh, I can't open when, How come whenever you want to get into something, you can't open can't it? Can't do it. Then when you don't want to get into it, you just start ripping it open. Open freely. It. Oh, wow. Don't use your teeth. He's using his teeth. I'm using my teeth. Hey, half of them aren't mine anyway. I feel like you still can't get into it. I got okay. it, I got it. This is like one of those jeweler's bags. Okay. It's a little bit. We, we're gonna have a lot, so. I'm just trying not to spread it all over my clothes like I usually do. Ooh, these are nice and together. Wow. Very, like a candy kind of granola. It reminds me of those. Lots of cinnamon. Candied nuts that you would get at the fair. At the mall. Mm-hmm. The, the pecans, right? Yeah. Th those roasted pecans. Delicious. That's good. Very delicious. Okay. And a variety of different seeds and stuff to give you a nice mouthful. We're gonna go with these. Wow. 
Everything with his teeth. Everything with my teeth. Today. Every single thing. I, you know what? I don't have a pair of scissors, and I don't want to get up and get a pair of scissors. Look, you didn't even notice. I did like Halloween background and everything. Oh, you're you're this the most awesome wife. Like you're always prepared. I actually have a little plastic drawer system next to now me. Now he does. Yeah. It helps. That reminds me of the whoopee cushion, whoopee cushions, the whoopee cookies that we used to get in like the Amish country. Oh my gosh, those that was so always awesome. Joe's favorite. Not usually my. I'm favorite. not waiting for you. Mmm. Wow. This All is, cookie, just a little bit of cream. These are way better than those whoopee. This pies. is good. These are good. I want to keep eating it, but there's so much I want to eat. It's got a lot of nice pumpkin. Yeah, very good pumpkin flavor. Mmm. Not too much sweetener. Very moist. Mm hmm Sorry, kids. Mmm. Now what? I'm all about the cashew caramel bar. French and toast or maple pecan? You gotta try the cookie. Oh, man. French toast. Because I feel like that's going to be a difficult one. Gotta do the dunk test on the cookie though. Okay, we're just gonna do a little piece of this cookie, like a quarter of the cookie. Okay. Gotta taste it first. Yep. Chewy, nice and chewy. That is good. Got a good flavor. Dunk test. It survived the dunk. Yeah. That is a perfect dunk cookie. That is good. It needs to be nice and thick and moist like that. I mean, I just want to try all of this, but... I definitely want the cashew caramel. Okay, we've got to try this. This is chocolate. This is like a pumpkin chocolate chip bar. I have Because this is kind of like, I'm thinking more of like a pecan I haven't, brittle. Well, it's a cashew, but I haven't seen a mixture of pumpkin and chocolate chip. I've have you? I've never seen that, no. Oh, hello. Wow. That is good. That has a lot of like the pumpkin pie filling. That, mm. that taste. I like the texture. The texture is you're getting some chocolate chips, so it's making it a little like a crunch to it, but imagine like a, a bite of, of pumpkin pie. When you first when you get a taste crunch. it, at least for me, when I first taste it, it's chocolate chip cookie, and then there's like undertones and after effects of the pumpkin pie. That pumpkin pie is on point. That's on point. On point. Last right. thing we're gonna try. Last but certainly not least, this is the thing I've honestly been most excited about. Talk about a really nice size. This looks like a gift, oh. right? Doesn't that look like a gift? You put like a little bow on that. Oh my Love gosh. It. Oh my gosh. Very dense, man. Oh my, you're not waiting for me. Nuh-uh. Wow. This is very much like the pecan, like the rolls, when you get cashew rolls or pecan, like nut logs, if you're mm. going like, I was always wow. like you're going across the state in the in the fall souvenir. What I like about that, it's like cookie on the bottom with this layer of cashews across the top. So it's not like super crunchy, nut crunchy. It's like cookie with like, so now you dig through that cookie and you want to find the nut. Well, every bite's got a nut. Well, it is, and it's like the filling is the is on the outside. The yeah. filling is the icing. This feels like I just visited Cracker Barrel, old country store, and got all of their awesome looking, yeah, you know, giant baked goods that they would sell. Five things as you're going to drink your coffee. Five things. Five things. So if you're new to our channel, we review all products based on five things. We're gonna talk about the ingredients. Does it keto based on a nutrition label? How does it taste? How much does it cost? And finally, would we recommend it? Now we're not gonna go over all of these. Number one. So number one, let's just pack a couple of them. Let's start off with right here. We got the French toast cookie. We had that. So the ingredients are That's almonds, delicious. a syrup, which is soluble corn fiber, non-GMO resistant dextrin, natural maple flavors, natural caramel coloring, monk fruit extract. Then we have erythritol, uh, we have eggs, butter, cinnamon, natural flavors, artificial flavors, baking soda, salt, and nutmeg. 
I did um, taste the erythritol a little bit, but not like where it's given me the bomb of a tongue. Let's jump over to that pumpkin sandwich cookie. That was good. Almonds, and then a syrup, which is liquid vegetable fiber, natural coconut flavor, natural vegetable coloring, monk fruit extract. We have erythritol, cream cheese, eggs, cream, butter, natural flavoring, cinnamon, baking soda, spices, and sea salt. I like that cream cheese middle. The spices, flavor. by the way, are cinnamon, ginger, nutmeg, and allspice. Nice. Uh, one more thing here. The caramel cashew bar ingredients are cashews, that was tasty. cream, almond, butter, syrup, which is liquid vegetable fiber, natural flavors, monk fruit extract, artificial colors. We have a sweetener. Uh, which is natural sweetener of erythritol, tagatose, glycerol, malt extract, and stevia. Salt, artificial flavoring. Um, then we have another sweetener, which is erythritol, natural flavors, oligosaccharides, and stevia. Ionized water, certified organic stevia. So, and that was got 11% organic alcohol in it. Huh. So, uh, lots of stevia in that one. Yeah. So, ingredients are okay. Yeah. They're not super, not super the clean. Um, you do have some vegetable fibers and things like that in there, some liquid fibers. But if you're making the switch from sugar to this, right, much better than sugar. Especially coming the holidays, I think this is something good to bring to a holiday party because you're going to have the like bridge stuff there that even if you're not going to eat it, other people may eat it, or maybe you just want to have a little thing. You don't want to feel left out, but you yeah. don't want to eat all of those high sugar things. Or you want this is a good option. Or you want something that tastes very homemade, but again, right. something that you could buy and bring to a party. This would be it. Number two, does it keto based on a nutrition label? So again, they give My us turn. this little form. So uh, where are you going to start? Let's see. There's the cashew bar. Okay, so cashew bar is one bar is 167 calories. Are you serious? Wow. That that's is a pretty good. lot. Oh my goodness, that's awesome. No, that's that's not a lot of calories. That's a lot of bar for that little calorie. That's what I mean. I yeah. mean that is an just, amazing serving just size. Here. The serving size makes me happy, okay? Yes. So uh total fat, 14.6 grams of fat. 3.2 grams of protein, 11.8 total carbs, 3.4 from fiber, 6.2 uh, sugar alcohols. Your net carbs are 2.2. Okay. So I like the fact that, again, it's sweetened mostly not by the fiber, right. but by the, the sweetener. Okay, let's see. We had a... Pumpkin spice cookie. Pumpkin spice... Well, the French toast cookie. Okay. That was the one that we were looking at. Um, a cookie is 126.7 calories. Um, so I'm getting the bar because <laughs> it's very close in calories if you're doing a calorie thing. 10 grams of fat, um, 3.7 grams of protein, 11.6 total carb, 5.1 dietary fiber, 4.7 sugar alcohols, 1.8 net carbs per cookie, and then the last one was this pumpkin sandwich I think that's cookie. On the other page. Pumpkin sandwich cookie. One cookie is a serving size. So I'm wondering if there's two cookies inside of a package. So I'm not sure if it's one cookie or one whole thing is a okay. cookie. Uh, 150.3 calories per serving, 12.2 grams of fat, 4.0 grams of protein, 13.4 total carbs. 5.1 dietary fiber, 6.1 sugar alcohol for a net carb of 2.2 grams. Okay. Definitely, I would, I mean. I'm going with this. Going with the bar. <laughs> Plus, it's like very visually beautiful. Oh, yeah. Number three, how do they taste? Very good. They taste like homemade. Yeah, they really they taste, taste like, like homemade. homemade, but, you, you know, you'd rather them home make it than Rachel home make it. That's true. Yeah. So. Every time. <laughs> Number four, how much do they cost? I have their website up here. So they have, I'm just looking at stuff that they can ship and they have a bunch of different things in here. I don't see like where you can buy just this whole This kit. like menagerie. There is a cookie variety box, which is like $18 for a dozen cookies. Wow. Um, peanut butter bars are $20. They have... How many do you get? The granola, a 10 ounce thing of granola is $15. That's actually really reasonable. Then they have a pumpkin chocolate chip cookie, six of them is $10. The French toast cookie, six of them is $10. If you visit the Keto Chow 
warehouse yep. and storefront, you can actually buy some of their products and there. And it actually says right on their website when we're filming this, it says local pickup pre-order is not available this week, but Keto Chow will have a fresh batch of inventory in their cooler. Stop at their for, uh, storefront to purchase goodies directly from them. So. Very nice. Okay, number five, would we recommend it? I think that this is a very nice bridge going into the holidays. If mm -hmm. you've got some family members where you don't want to bake a bunch of stuff, but you just want to have a couple of things out, you're going to a holiday party, maybe you're having a cookie exchange and you're like, I just don't have time to like right. make cookies, but I'm going to make some individually wrapped ones so that I don't have to worry because I'm going to a cookie exchange in COVID. Like right. this is this is probably the way to go and you're going to be guaranteed a delicious result. Yeah. Um, overall, I mean, I think they're good products. The ingredients are a little kind of iffy for a lot of people. Mm -hmm. So I think it's a good like holiday thing. Would I eat these on a regular basis? Probably not, to be honest. Yeah. Just, uh, I try to stay away from a lot of the syrups and things like that. I mean, once in a blue moon, I think it's okay. Especially like you said, around the holidays, things like that. Kids will love them. If you're going to a party and you want to bring something, but you don't want to feel left out, I think it's great for that. Maybe you have like, you know, a bunch of people at uh, Thanksgiving or Christmas or any of the holidays you that are, are coming over family members, you want to put something out? You're certainly not going to feel deprived if you're bringing a snack that's this big. Yeah. And price-wise, I think they're priced very well. 12 I mean, of them for again, 20 Again, I don't know if this is an actual like box here because this does say like on the front, like it's a keto O box, but I don't see it anywhere on the website. But based on the price I of everything out. else, I think everything is very reasonably priced, Super. especially for a fresh baked good. Well, and I mean, I, I think it's going to cost more if we try to make that ourselves yeah. because the ingredients. Yeah. Well, that is going to be our video for today. Now, if you like seeing product reviews like this, check out some of our other product reviews, which we're going to link right down there. Also, make sure you take a look at our most recent video, which you're going to find right over here. Whether you head this way or you head this way, don't forget to head this way. Subscribe to our channel and click the little bell icon, and that way every single time we taste something amazing, you'll be alerted to it. Until next time. Bye. bye.